Panera Bread is making waves, talking about changes, with its new no-no list of ingredients. It contains more than 150 things the company will cut from its menu by the end of next year. Now, this is the latest move by a major food company to shift toward more natural options. Michael Moss is an investigative reporter for The New York Times. He's examined the food industry in his book. It's called Salt, Sugar, and Fat. Michael, good morning. Good morning. We were watching in the green room looking at the cereal uh, labels, and I'm thinking, <laughs> he can't be happy right now. I did find some yes. other stuff in your cereal. You no, know, we there. were watching you, but let's talk about Panera. You must think, finally, they're listening. They are. All of these food giants are now listening to consumers who want natural, who want organic, who want a simple label that doesn't have all these chemical names that confuses and scares them. So why are they doing it? Is it because they're more health conscious or does it come down to the bottom line? I think Panero's is both. I think that the CEO is more health conscious. He's talked about that. And I think it's a bottom line too. A lot of these companies are struggling for profits. Um, and losing, feeling that they're losing the trust of their consumers, which is like a big deal in the food world. So it's good for their bottom line. Good for their bottom line, good for their customers, and they're hoping by getting rid of these ingredients that we can't pronounce or understand <laughs> that they're going to bring people back in and, 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 uh, and sell products. But by getting rid of these artificial flavors, preservatives, and colors, yeah. Does that make us healthier, or is there something we need to look at even deeper than that? Well, there's a trade-off in some of these things. And I was m marveling at the at the Panera list because there are you know in, you know things in there that that keep processed foods from separating and foaming up and all these wondrous things and sweetness that doesn't have the calories. But there are certain trade-offs that you're going to get. I don't think it's a health issue per se with most of these. It's more of a yuck factor and. We really don't need these. We don't need these foods to last on the shelf for months and months and months well, at a time, especially if you're a restaurant. Well, for instance, one of the examples was something called titanium dioxide, which is used to keep mozzarella white. Yes. Without it, the mozzarella turns brown. Do I want brown mozzarella? A little off color. I think a lot of people are willing to give up that pure whiteness. As long as it doesn't change the taste. Losing the chemical. And it's healthy. And it's better for you. The taste is key. Michael Moss, always good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Every time he's here, I'm reminded I gotta eat less sugar and less salt. <laughs> I'm reminded of that till 12 noon, and I see a cupcake, and I'm like, okay. People take me out to lunch, and they go, oh my God, what are we gonna feed this right. guy? The changes like, oh. are good. The changes are good. Yeah, thank you.